Hey everyone, welcome back to the 90th minute. I'm Liam. We got Lucas and Waz. Behind the camera, there is producer Greg. Uh, it's the international week, so there's not too much to talk about. However, what we're going to do instead is we're going to discuss our own personal favorite players throughout all time kind of thing. Uh, we'll go one by one. You know, We'll talk about what they meant to us, what they brought to the game, our favorite memory of them, all that kind of thing. Um, yeah, you know, we're just going to... Talk about who who made us fall in love with the game a little bit more. Lucas, do you want to start off? I uh, might as well. So my favorite player of all time is Steven Gerrard. Great. Typical Liverpool fan. Oh my god. Hey, I Stevie G is a great player. Even though he's now coaching Rangers, who I can't stand. Stevie G as a player, loved him. Mm-hmm. So how I found out about him, I started watching Liverpool in two thousand four. And from there, I started to fall in love with the team, as mm-hmm. well as Steven Gerrard. He scored some fantastic goals for the club, got me excited about watching Liverpool. He, um, he stayed with the club when things went tough, so mm-hmm. that it, it was during a tough time where it was tough for me to watch Liverpool matches, and finding out when they lost to Blackpool, which was, which it did make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's cute. Wow. But, <laughs> wow. Uh, he's obviously one of the best midfielders of all time. Mm-hmm. One of the best in Premier League history, obviously. There's always this debate with Scholes, Lampard, Gerrard. Mm-hmm. For me, it's always Gerrard because I'm a Liverpool fan. That's pro- was for Swaz is probably be Scholes. Yes. Yeah, Do you have a favorite memory of Stevie G? Oh, my favorite memory of Stevie G. I'm surprised Waz didn't chip in there as while he was laying on the ground after <laughs> he slipped. <laughs> Thank you for mentioning that. Actually, no, I, I'm sorry. That's rude to Stevie. I I mean, yeah, favorite memory. Oh. It was a shame that um, Istanbul. No, about that uh, that slip. You know, he had a great season, but that slip overshadows everything. A little bit. Is, yeah. the, is Istanbul a favorite memory? Maybe. Uh, I think Istanbul is definitely up there. Also, it's, it's, I think some moment from the o eight o nine season. I can't remember which one, but he was great in that year too. And also the season where we were doing well and. I think that penalty against Fulham. <laughs> it's always and, against Fulham. Isn't yeah, it? we we were tied against Fulham. It was the le- year where we ended up not winning the league because yeah. of the said slip. <laughs> but he, we won the penalty in last minute. Yeah, Gerard banged it home. He mm-hmm. scored so many penalties that year. It was great. Mm-hmm. But it, yeah, I'd say Istanbul would probably be up there because totally. that's the best moment for Liverpool fans yeah, from the last 100%. fifteen years. Yeah. And best moment of Steven Gerrard's career as I well. I just want to say to people who are watching on YouTube or listening somewhere, if you don't already know, Lucas is a massive Liverpool supporter. Matthew was, or you want to call him. I don't know. I've, never, I've never called you Matthew for a long time. I don't know why. Please don't. Sorry. <laughs> was is a massive United supporter. I'm a Celtic supporter, and Greg's a Fulham fan. Yeah, um, it's kind of weird. We don't really know why he's a Fulham <laughs> fan, but. Well, maybe he'll get his chance to explain. Who knows? I don't okay. know his favorite player. I don't know. Yeah. All right. But yeah, make sure if you're watching or li- listening again, comment your favorite player, your favorite memory, all that. Get involved with the conversation. Waz, do you want to keep it going? Yeah, sure. I mean, I kind of have two favorite players. Okay. One's a Man United player. Sure. By the name of Robin Van Persie. Okay. That's, I don't know, but I kind of really enjoyed him during that run he had. I know he was only on United for three years, but I really... He was good while you had him. The though. first season, he had a lot of memorable moments, mm-hmm. you know, scoring from anywhere, anytime he wanted. Yeah. He scored for fun, really, and just... <laughs> it, was, it was beautiful. And his, his World Cup goal, even though I missed it, it's still one of my favorite, like, goals mm-hmm. to watch. And it's probably my favorite World Cup goal. Yeah. The overhead one, or...? Yeah, the one where he diving Hendrick. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So when Arsenal sold you guys the league, pretty much, with... Van yeah. Persie to you guys. What was your reaction? When, <laughs> what was your reaction when you first heard Van Persie was coming to oh, Manchester that was really, United? I was super excited. I was like, oh, I, I texted one of my Arsenal friends. I told him, you know, screw you, we're winning, <laughs> we're winning the league. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that was the worst piece of business ever. I, I loved it. I don't get he it. He kind of screwed over Arsenal, but he won the hearts of United. He cares, United. you know. He doesn't yeah. care at all. He scored amazing goals, and I, don't know, I think he's kind of underrated. In terms of when spoken about great strikers yeah, in this era, generation, maybe because he wasn't there for as long as a time, but mm-hmm. yeah, who's your second favorite? Well, the man what? right here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, what's your favorite Van Persie moment? Oh, wow, that's that's I want to say maybe his goal against City or maybe his first goal for United. 
So the yeah, or it's it's hard to say because he's had a couple great moments in such a mm-hmm. short amount of time. But I think his first goal kind of stands out. Yeah, well, I, re- I really wish I saw the World Cup go live, but no, I had to have a, write a social test. I did watch that. Yeah, live. it pissed me off. Yeah, oh my god, I was the same board as you was. So, yeah. so the um, second favorite is I, Mr. Roberto Lewandowski. Yeah, I'm kind of conflicted at the moment because he had a really poor World Cup, and I was expecting big things from him. But but for national pride, he's the man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, without him, Poland wouldn't be at the World. Yeah, Cup. he scored yeah. probably one of my most memorable goals when he scored the the opener at the Euros and mm-hmm. skipped school to watch that. That was great. <laughs> no, re- no regrets. No regrets. Twenty twelve so. Euros. Yeah, that was so awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, honestly, big big impact. So what uh, you know, what would both what do the both those players, you know, what do they make you feel about the game? Like do they wow, do they bring something out from you or goals? Yeah, goals galore, you know. Okay, shall I go for my one? See, I, here's the thing: I don't really have like a standout f- favorite soccer pl- football player, I guess you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, I mean, if there's if we were talking like hockey, I can easily name one. But this is a different no, sport. Not That's hockey. It. Could I say something about yes. mine? Like my uh, during some some points during at uh, Liverpool. Fernando Torres was my favorite. Yeah, I thought I thought you were gonna say Fernando, but yeah. Because but once he left and how that all happened, yeah, kind of. Because I was a Stevie G was my favorite mm-hmm. from like when I first started watching, but then once Fernando Torres came, me fall. Everyone I, falls in love with a striker. Okay, you know? like, but then once Torres left, it was the jar. Liam, yeah, let me guess. Favorite player is Gary Hooper. No. Uh, is oh. it gonna be? I've got two. I've got two. Uh, is oh. it gonna be uh, Craig Burley? No. <laughs> Henrik Larson, Scott Brown, oh. both Celtic legends. Uh, I'll talk on Henrik Larson first because I didn't get to see him play live all that much. He's a bit before me. Uh, you know, he's more in the mid '90s kind of mm-hmm. thing. Um, but you know what he brought to Celtic? He's their greatest ever player, in my opinion. You know, not many players can go from Celtic to Barcelona. I guess. And, yeah. you know, he scored something like 283 goals in 312 games, something like that. Um, Favorite memory is definitely his goal against Rangers, where he nutmegs a defender and chips the keeper. It was beautiful. You know, it was say so this. Good. Did not know he's gonna be in FIFA 19. Who? Henrik Larsson. Yeah, he's he's a legend. Yeah. Wow. Great hair. He's been there a few times. He's been there for a few years. Yeah, but that's 90 yeah. rated card. Oh my god. Yeah, he's fantastic. He's isn't, brilliant. He's 86 when he. Was he was born. at Manchester United for a while. Yeah, he was, and he got injured. He I'm broke his sure, leg. So. Yeah, but no, but as a Celtic player, you know what he brought to me was, you know he. Got us to the UEFA, Euro, the Europa League final in Seville. He single-handedly kind of did that. And, uh, you know, he he's helped make Celtic become on the winning ways they are today kind of thing. Uh, Scott Brown, what I like about him is I love his passion for the game, his intensity and how, you know, he's a captain on and off the field and he's always a leader, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, favorite memory? <sighs> Any Champions League game, really, you know, like he leads the man, you know, the pregame huddle, and he's he's captain, you know, like he's in charge, and I love his intensity. Um, the last season against Aberdeen, actually, he was just kicked around by that. <laughs> you know, they took him down, they kicked the ball, and I'm kicking the side of the the, the, the the ribs, and he got up and was just making fun of the fans and everything. <laughs> I just love that about him. But yeah, I think if I was to pick one of them, I'd go for Scott Brown just because. I've viewed him. I've watched him play a few times. And, you know, for my life as a Celtic fan, he has been the image of Celtic for me. Okay. That's really cool. Like, not many people would have Scott Brown as their favorite yeah. player. Yeah. And that's what makes you unique as a fan. Yes, or, or stupid, maybe one of the two. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Greg? From one unique fan to another. Yes. Greg. Who's your favorite fan? Or favorite player, sorry. <laughs> favorite fan. My wow. favorite fan's Liam. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, favorite player. That's that's an interesting one. I don't necessarily have a favorite player. Never really had one. If I had to say someone, it would have to be you, David you, Louise. <laughs> David Louise. Honestly, sideshow Bob. <laughs> I like David Louise. I, I think he's got a great personality. Mm-hmm. Like he brings entertainment to the teams. I and really emotions. Like him on, PSG. Yeah. So I forgot he played for PSG. <laughs> yeah. Um, and but like I love him. I loved him for Brazil in the mm. 2014 World Cup when he scored mm. that free kick. Greg, before you I, continue, question: Are you Brazilian? Can you 
no one's seen you on camera. I will show a picture of him on camera right now. No. No. Are you Brazilian? Can you let that teaser out? Who no. are you truly? What's your true identity? I don't have a true okay, identity. Okay. <laughs> nice. I like that. Yes, this picture is his true Subtle. Identity. Yes. One day we'll... Yes. It's Illuminati. <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> continue on. Let's not say that. But no, yeah, just the, the lizard people. That's what you are. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite memory ever of Dev Louise? Well, I was just getting that. Yeah. That would be the uh, the 2014 World Cup when he scored the free kick. I was actually losing my mind. That was a very good that. free like, kick. I, I loved it, and because I, I was cheering for Brazil for that year, so mm-hmm. it was just it was perfect. I remember uh, we were on Xbox Live talking during that match. Your game was ahead of me. And when that goal happened, you went like, you're like, <gasps> and I'm like, wait, what happened? Then the goal, then, then saw I saw the goal. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. It was a really good free kick, it actually. An interesting yeah. World Cup it was, definitely. Yeah. That was, Louise was a highlight of that World Cup. I'm sure we can have an episode talking about that World Cup. Oh, yes. He got into the team of the year after yeah. the yeah. FIFA yeah. team of the year. I was pretty upset he does not uh, in this World Cup. Mm-hmm. No, I, was really, I mean, I understand why. I think he'd be okay like, on the bench, but that's maybe well, he didn't really play much last season. Oh, so. Okay, well, never mind, I guess. <laughs> but do you, do you like watching Chelsea because of David Luiz? Uh, I mean, Chelsea is a Fulham rival. Yeah, it, it, to an extent, at least. Well, I mean, I, I liked him more when he was on PSV, but mm-hmm. yeah. Do you have a favorite Fulham player then? Uh, not. Really, Chelsea like told up, me- upcoming would be Tom Carney. I love just captain for Fulham. Mm-hmm. He's helped us get to where we are now, and I'm happy with it. Yeah, and you ordered his jersey, right? Yeah. Spent big bucks on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've kind of discussed our favorite yeah. players, favorite memories, all that. Uh, this is a bit quicker. Well, for an what episode. about what was something else? Just to finish it up, least favorite player, like on your team or rival? Is that any any player? Easy, Elad's Jeff. Who? He used to play for Rangers. He, used, he, went to, <laughs> he went to Liverpool for a, a little bit, and then he had a big feud with Steven Gerrard for yeah, like, can't a, stand the man. Yeah, he wasn't a great guy. Oh, God, he's just... He's just the worst okay. of the worst. <laughs> Basically, any Rangers player. Kyle Lafferty can't stand him. Oh, my God, he's annoying. Uh, Lucas, how about you? Uh, give me a second. <laughs> I hope my cousins that let you live in Scotland watch this. I know my Alan yeah. and, and Christopher, they watch this, and... They're not Rangers fans, but I know Christopher is a uh, Aberdeen supporter. Go Aberdeen! No, no one likes him. I do, but uh, but I, they'll they'll get. I'm saying Kyle Lafferty is just the scum of Scotland. I, <laughs> like, I, I, I like I like Aberdeen. Ferguson. He doesn't play for. He doesn't, yes, he doesn't play for Aberdeen. He plays for Rangers now. Okay, He's Lucas hurts. My least favorite player. That's a tough one because I try to not dislike players. I try to enjoy players nowadays. But if I have to choose one. I would have to go probably John Terry. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I would have to think is, more is there, about is it. Is there but a specific that's, reason why? Or? He's just not a great person. Just Is he just because it's a rival? Or? Oh, a bit of a rivalry, but he's also not a great person in my opinion. Well, yeah. well he has had a yeah. bad history. A, and, a checkered past, yeah. Um, although, uh, there was probably a United player I didn't really like back in the day. But go I ahead, remember. I don't care. I don't really remember. I, I'd Do you have know to think about it. No, he's saying he, he probably didn't like someone. Oh, okay, yeah. He remember. It's probably Roy Keane. No. I love Roy Keane. <laughs> yes. Uh, for me, uh, at the moment, there's no one I truly dislike, but mm. when I was younger, I despised Luis Suarez. I thought he was the worst football player. I mean, play. Fair enough. As someone who is a I Manchester he was United fan, evil, huge rivalry. You know, the racism that he, put, he showed during one of the matches. The and biting. The biting. <laughs> that, that made it worse. His head. Handball His handball against the Ghana. Oh my. That just threw me off the rails. I'm like, no, you should be bad for life. You never play a game ever. But he's so good. I don't care. He was awful. He, Ghana could have been in the semifinals, but they, they squandered it anyways. Like, yeah, they, it was their own fault. Yeah, they had like two chances anyways. But and Funny enough, I was cheering for Ghana in that World Cup just because they had a funny name. I didn't have anyone. To, I, I'm like, oh, they have an interesting what? name. They're an underdog. Like I, was, I just wanted to pick a team oh that God. no one was really cheering for. Like yeah, Lucas, yeah. Is a, I remember that World Cup. Yeah, you were cheering. For. Um, I at the, uh, maybe Angel Di Maria a little bit. He's a bit of a snake, in my opinion. Is he? Yeah, he's just. Uh, I've never seen him as much of yeah, a snake. Why? Like he, when he left United. Like I guess like I would understand being angry at him because he went a wall. Mm-hmm. But I mean, can you not 
kind of understand why because he had such a bad time there. Neymar is up there. I kind of don't like him. him. Yeah, that's probably my least favorite player at the moment. I also didn't like David Luiz that much. (laughs) Not a fan of the Afro. He's too silly. He's not not that good. Like, honestly, he he pushes up way too high. I don't like that. I want my defenders to stay compact. What? What do you mean? You love Marcelo. Yeah, so he's a wingback. He's allowed to do that. As a center back, I want you to stay back a little bit and kind of like... He pressed way too high. <laughs> Why do you think Brazil did so bad in the 2014 World Cup? Because of Dallas. I don't Luis. think you're just going to him. I know. They were terrible. <laughs> like, I, but uh, just I'm not a fan of the way he plays the game. I feel like people, he tried... People he tried, rate Thiago Silva such a great defender. And I didn't see anything in that World Cup to make him stand out. Right? Uh, well, but, he wasn't playing in the seven. For example. Like, no, like, but... I like I like defenders like Rio Ferdinand and Emmanuel Minish. Those are top seven. Of course you do. But like, <laughs> like, like Jerome Boateng, Sergio Ramos. Jerome who? Boateng. Okay. <laughs> like, solid center backs who know how to play the position. Don't go up too far up I must say pitch. this. All, all jokes aside, I do believe that Vidic and Ferdinand was the greatest ever Premier League center back pair. Yeah. I do believe that. Yeah, that's up there. Greg, who do you hate? Uh, Anyone who wears the United jersey? That, no, <laughs> no, not exactly. I th- I'm kind of surprised Lucas didn't bring this up. But, uh, or even Liam, uh, Sergio Ramos, I'm not... Mm. I mean, I'm not a big fan of no, him, but, like, I don't yeah. have I don't, grudges like that. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't really with, have, like, mm. a, Yeah, if we're talking about current day players, yeah, it'd be definitely between Ramos and Neymar, Can I put up another player in my favorite guy? You like him? No, 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 okay, I forgot one more player, can I just... Ooh. Maybe Schweinsteiger? Actually, never mind. There's a lot of players I like, so let's yeah, let's not go back. Like him. We'll probably go back to this topic yeah. in like a year. <laughs> well, we'll have so maybe like a top you're ten favorite. Sergio. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, just a good part of it is just this last year. I really, really did not want Real Madrid to win, and did he hurt him, Mohamed him Salah? Liverpool's Who does best that? Player, <laughs> like it kind of, kind of messes things up. Yeah. Well, what about you, Liam? I said. Who? Alad's Jeff. Oh, yeah, you're first. Well, yeah. What kind of name is that? <laughs> Where's he <laughs> from? He's like from... I think he's African. Yeah. Oh, I thought he'd be... Oh, okay. That's... I didn't expect that. That was like Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. Okay. But, um, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, a little bit different of an episode, a little quicker, just to fill the gap in this, uh, this international week that no one really cares about. But, no. uh... Yeah, for myself, Liam, from Lucas, Waz, Greg, behind the camera, from the 90th minute, this has been yet another week in the beautiful game. See ya.